Now on to the second project for the Android Basics Nano Degree. degree. Uh, this one is to, do, to build a scorekeeper app uh, based on some user input, some methods that we've learnt with buttons and uh, also with some mathematics. So in this one uh, we're required to build a scorekeeper. Going over to our Rubik's uh, and seeing what we are required. Basically with the layout we've got to look at what game chosen the overall layout must have two columns, one for each team. Uh, the column contents themselves must use a large text view for the score, and obviously a second text view to uh, track another important metric such as fouls, uh, which we've done in my case. I uh, also have a score button uh, because we're tracking two different metrics. There's two different types of score buttons required. Also a reset button that will reset the score so you can start again. And with our best practices now, making sure text sizes are used SP and lengths, margins, things like that are used with DP. All right, function criteria. Uh, we want to make sure that there are no errors. It does run and compile with no errors. The score buttons do function as they are required and that the reset button also resets the scores. For coding criteria, they're looking at uh, naming conventions now. So we need to start making conscious choices about how we name our variables and that certainly is going to help us as we develop more complex uh, coding and the code style itself making sure that it's laid out it's easy to read okay so over to the actual code itself uh, so I've chosen uh, the, our, my favorite sport AFL uh, football teams so uh, generally it's a home and away season so we've got a home score and an away team that come and challenge uh, with mine, I've actually tracked the goals and the points. Goals are worth six, po uh, six points, and points are worth just a single point. Uh, there is a reset button as well that will reset the scores. Uh, and because I'm using a logo, there's also just mentioned uh, to courtesy of the uh, trademark owners. All right, so in the code itself, I'm using a relative layout because I'm using some different styles in here. Then I'm nesting straight away a linear layout. Uh, I'm going to use a vertical linear layout. That way that uh, that measures from the top to the bottom here. Or actually it stops there. Uh, for this case, this is being floated down the bottom. We'll see later. Starting off with the image view. Uh, and that's the AFL logo starting off with. Then I'm breaking out into another linear layout because at this stage I want a linear layout that allows me to do the two score boxes. So this will be a horizontal linear layout. Okay, so then starting straight into a vertical layout to do this box first. So I can put these down vertically one on top of the other. Okay, so the first one's the text view saying home and then we go off into the score which is at the moment zero now I'll put an ID on here so that I can reference this later in the Java to update the score when a score button is pressed in the home team okay next one here is another linear layout I'm changing the layout to horizontal this allows me to do the goals the goal score the points and the point score below that um, is the uh, so we've got the goals uh, the point, uh, the goal amount, and I've got that uh, with an ID called goal home. So it's a goal score and it's under the home bracket. Again, they're judging us on how we choose to name these uh, fields. After that, we've got the points, and uh, that's the text, and then we've got the point score itself. And again, it's got point home as an ID set so that I can reference that in the Java later on. Okay, so that completes that horizontal linear layout. Now we're coming down towards the buttons. Uh, they're following my vertical layout, bigger parent vertical layout here. Okay, so the first button is scoring a goal, right? And what I've got here to activate this is using the on click. So on click, it will run something in the Java called score goal home. The point is very much set up the same, except it's going to run score point home in the Java, which we'll look at shortly. After that, uh, I've written a very thin blue line, or purple, or sorry, grey line, down the middle here. That's just to for visual, so that when we step out of there, when you look at the app, there is a line there separating the two. Okay, and then we follow through, oops, jump down. Find where we are. Let's just cheat. Okay, button score goals. 
Okay, so from this point here, we're starting the away. It's pretty much the same, except everything's away. So score away, showing the big score. I'm using goal away to be able to reference that text view. And then I'm using point away to be able to reference that text view. Again, the buttons run score away, uh, score goal away, and score point away. All right, down the very bottom, I've got the uh, re registered trademark. I'm using that to align parent and bottom, and Sarah is center horizontally true. So that's line to the bottom there, and it's horizontally true. Due to padding I've used, that uh, won't show um, in the middle. Okay, the next one is the reset button itself. Um, I'm using that to go off the trademark text. So I've given the trademark text an ID, um, and that is laying above the trademark, and again, horizontal true. So that's why that's sitting there. And if that clicks, we're going new game. Okay, now over to the Java. In the Java, I'm firstly starting to four variables that I'm going to have is the points home and the points away and the goals home and the goals away they all start at zero all right we start the activity main which shows our display that we've just looked at and now we're looking at the methods created for when something happens uh, when a button's pressed so when you were to press the score points home that will trigger this method and that'll go points home equals points home plus one Right. Uh, now for the goal, I've got score goal home, that's goals home equals goals home plus one. Right. When any of these run, I do it show score home, and that will go through and update the score home using those IDs. Right. So here's show score home. What it's first doing is working out what is the total score. So score home is all the points that they've scored plus all the goals times six. Remember goals are worth six points each. Then it's looking for the score home and uh, the I text view and storing that as an object underscore total. I'm using that object to set text and updating that with the current score home. So that's the total score being done. Then I'll just go through Find the text view for points home, update the points home to work their current value, Up, find the text view for goal home, and then update the goal home current score in that text view. Very much the same for the away people, so if they score a point, or they score a goal, showing their scores and updating the fields. Last one is if we reset, that'll trigger a new game. What I'm simply doing there, setting all the variables to zero and then showing the score home and showing the score away which resets both sides of that score view. Now I'll show you what that looks like running on the phone. So here's the app and uh, as you can see at the home score if I hit goals it's going up by six and the goals themselves are going up. Same if I hit the points they go up one by one point and they're updating as we would hope. Okay, same with the away team, we better not uh, make it two one-sided game. They get five goals and 13 points, let's say. Okay, so pretty close game, and uh, that could be a reset now. If I hit the bottom, it'll clear all of those scores. And that's uh, the app, that's my second project. Hope you enjoyed.